Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share some motivation and get into the holiday spirit together today. It's early for sure, but I think we could all use a little bit of holiday cheer right now. We're cleaning up, putting away Halloween decor. I'm sharing a DIY Santa cookie plate. Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video, and we're also doing some decorating. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this week's video, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. The first area that we're going to work on is my living room. I'm so excited to decorate in here for Christmas this year now that we have our new fireplace. If you missed our like DIY living room makeover fireplace build video, I'll have that linked in the cards right here. It's something I'm so proud of. I could not be happier with the way that it turned out. It completely changed our living room and honestly our whole house. It's such a feature in our home, but I was very excited to decorate it. So I wanted to go ahead and get this room cleaned up and ready. I actually had to look up a video tutorial on how to pack up these love every blocks. They're so hard to put back and have them all fit in this container perfectly, but it turns out I'm actually missing a few of them because they were able to fit in here very, very easily and there was space left, so I'm definitely missing a couple of blocks somewhere. I wanted to put our TV back into the center of our fireplace here before I got to doing any decorating because I feel like it totally throws off the vibe when the TV is all messed up and facing different directions. So I fixed that, took down all of my Halloween decor, washed off the mantle, and then I wanted to quickly update our command center calendar. Since I was actually filming this on November 1st and wanted it updated, but if you're wondering how I write on this calendar, these are the chalk crayons that I use and I will have them linked down below because you can see very easily what you're writing using these and if you use dry erase markers, it's kind of harder to see it. And these are very easy to clean off, you just use a magic eraser. The next thing that I wanted to do was just quickly clean off our island because it was covered in stuff and I knew I was going to be bringing up some Christmas decor so I needed space to be able to see everything that I have. Is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a quiet. So I ran to Target this morning to get a couple of things. I wanted to see like what they had out for Christmas. It is November 1st when I'm filming this, so I feel like they don't have quite everything out yet. Um, but anyway, I ran there this morning to get a couple things. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Uh, first of all, this is just for Sutton for Christmas. He's really into Play-Doh right now, and this was on sale. So I think they were having like a... 25% off of toys or $10 something off of toys. So I bought this for Sutton and then I grabbed these from the dollar section. So this is like a Coco Cafe little, I don't know what this is made out of, but I feel like it's not quite as breakable as like the ceramic stuff. So that's why I went with these, but these do light up as well. I think after, yeah, so these do light up. So that'll be cute. I think I'm going to put these either on my mantle along with some garland or I'll put them on the open shelves in my kitchen. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I got another one of these as well. And this is the other one that I grabbed, which is the post office. And this one lights up as well. I think these are so cute. I love like villagey stuff, but villages are very expensive. My mom always did a village when I was a kid and I loved it. It's still one of my favorite things to this day that she does. So um, I would love to get into that, but I feel like you need to collect that type of stuff from like estate sales or family members that give them to you but yeah they are quite expensive i've been seeing these all over the place like on tiktok and stuff and it's the fireside glow scented candle with led lights it came from the threshold line and apparently when you light this it starts like sparkling and stuff so i grabbed this because i feel like this will just help us get into the christmas spirit a little bit around here then i just got a bunch of like these little bottle brushes from the dollar section these will either go on my mantle with those like post office and coco cafe things or they'll go on the open shelves in here or somewhere but i feel like i could always use some more of these little trees i feel like i called them just bottle brushes but they're bottle brush trees that's what they're called so i'm not just like crazy but anyway got a bunch of those and then I got this little countdown sign that I'll either put in Carson's room or 
just somewhere fun for him so he can count down to Christmas. This came from the dollar section as well. Everything I got today came from the dollar section aside from three rolls of wrapping paper, which are still in my car. Those came from like the Magnolia line. I just thought the prints were really pretty, but yeah, I'm trying to not spend a ton of money on Christmas decor because I just don't want to, but uh, yeah, those are the things that I got from Target today and I just wanted to share those real quick while I'm putting everything away. As long as I spend this day with you it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. So the first area that we're going to decorate is my fireplace because, again, I was so excited about this. I wanted to do it first, and I'll say that everything I'm doing here did not work out. I ended up having to, like, nail the garland into the mantle because the command strips just weren't sticking to it and I think that's because I have restained this mantle so it used to work with the command strips but I think now for whatever reason it's just not a surface that the command strips want to stick to so all of this fell down all the garland and all the stockings so I did end up having to rehang them but you get the idea I put it up the exact same way after but this garland came from I believe it was Pottery Barn and I want to say I got it like two years ago maybe. I didn't end up putting it out last year. I like this one because it has a battery operated light system. But anyway, I kept it really simple with the garland and the stockings. I put a couple of those villagey pieces out with some bottle brush trees and then I did end up adding fake snow later but you don't see that here. But I used a couple of like containers and random things to add height and covered those with fake snow. So while I was downstairs looking for my Christmas decor, I found this tray and I think I got this from Home Goods, but it was sitting on a shelf down there and I've kind of had this idea that I wanted to make a Santa like cookies and milk tray for a couple years now and I've just never done it. So I brought this upstairs and I also grabbed my Cricut. We're going to use the Cricut maker. I still need to make the design in design space. So I'm going to do that in a second. But for this, we just need the Cricut maker, my tray, obviously. And then I'm going to use the extra large standard grip um, cutting mat. And then I've got my white permanent vinyl right here and some transfer tape. Very quickly here, I wanted to show you guys in Cricut Design Space all of the Santa cookie plates that have already been created and are ready for you in Design Space. So if you don't want to go ahead and try to make something yourself from scratch, you do have the option of using that search tool to find a project that someone has already made and you can just make it yourself. So actually this Santa plate that I'm making right now is going to be available in my Cricut Design Space, which will be linked in my description box down below. So if you wanna use my exact design that you can see me making here, that will be in my description box. This did not take me very long at all to throw together and I feel like it turned out so cute for just something I did on a whim on this day. Cricut Design Space is so easy to use. They have a bunch of different fonts to choose from, and then they have images and shapes and everything else that you can pick from. So you really have everything that you need right there at your disposal. And then you just go ahead, load up your machine. Again, I'm just using some white permanent vinyl for this and my extra large Cricut cutting mat. I'm gonna get that all loaded up into the machine and then the machine will just cut it all for me perfectly. And all I have to do is weed out the excess vinyl. A Cricut cutting machine is such an incredible investment that really pays for itself over time. I have made so many projects over the years. You guys see me using my Cricut in countless videos. I've made everything from labels for organizing to my acrylic calendar at my command center that went viral on my Instagram to DIY personalized Christmas ornaments for gifts. I've made gift tags with my Cricut every year, birthday cards. I've made other handmade gifts for people like our daycare provider. There are just endless uses for a Cricut cutting machine. I have seen Santa cookie plates like this available for sale that are at least like 30 plus dollars and I made this and countless other projects for a fraction of the cost using my Cricut. I'm going to insert just a couple of clips here of some of the things that I've made using my Cricut over time. It is one of my most used items and you guys know that if you come here and you watch my videos week after week.
Once I have finished weeding out my vinyl, I'm going to go ahead and put some transfer tape over it. The transfer tape just helps to lift up the vinyl so you can place it onto your project. When you are creating something like this that has kind of fine details, you really want to make sure that you are taking your time when you're doing this to make sure that you're lifting up every single piece of your design and not leaving anything behind. So I go very slowly at removing or pulling up the transfer tape just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. And once we're done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and lay my design out onto my tray here. I will smooth it down and then start lifting up the transfer tape to reveal my beautiful project that I've created. This is one of my favorites. I love this one so much. I feel like I say that every single time I finish one, but I thought this turned out so cute and we can use this year after year. Again, I've seen these going for 30 plus dollars, sometimes even $50 on various different websites to get a customized Santa cookie plate but I made this for a fraction of the cost. It turned out beautiful, it looks professional. And again, I will have my design linked in my design space profile in my description box. So you can use this and you can customize it if you would like to. And then I'll also have my Cricut cutting machine and all of the materials that I use today linked down below so that you can shop if you are interested. Cricut is not complicated, it's not difficult to learn, and there's just something about being able to make some things yourself instead of paying the expensive price tag at a store. And I just want to make sure that I say a big thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. They are my favorite brand to work with. The next area that we're going to decorate is the open shelves in my kitchen. This is probably my second favorite place to decorate in my house now that we have our fireplace. So I'm taking all of the Halloween decor off of it and I'm going to clean off the shelves. Before I could get to decorating that area, I did want to get these dishes done. I just felt like I needed to make sure this space was clean before I began decorating because decor can quickly start to feel like clutter when the rest of your home is a mess. So we're just going to take care of that really quickly before we move on to actually trying to style the shelves. I wanted to shout out this sweater or sweatshirt that I'm wearing in this video. So this is an Amazon dupe for the Lululemon scuba sweatshirt and I love mine so much. It's such good quality and it's way more affordable than the Lululemon one. So if you have anyone in your life that you're looking to gift a really nice sweatshirt, this is a good option. I'll have it linked down below. I am all for saving money and not buying the brand names, so I absolutely love this sweatshirt and I'm going to ask my husband to get me a couple more of them in different colors for Christmas. It looks pretty much identical to the Lulu one and the material is super thick and nice. It's not cheap feeling in any way, so I'm just obsessed. Moving on to styling the shelves, I am very minimal when it comes to my Christmas decor. I do like to keep it relatively traditional, but then in some areas I like to have more like white and black and neutral just because again, decor can very quickly start to look like clutter. So I am not about clutter in our lives. I try to reduce clutter as much as possible and I'm sure you guys know that, but I'm not amazing at styling shelves. I do think these turned out really cute, so you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments. 
And now we are packing up our Halloween decor. I brought up my bin from the basement so we can get to work on that. But first, I needed to go through my kid's obscene amount of Halloween candy. We went to multiple trunk or treat events this year and different trick or treat events at like a local shopping plaza and stuff like that, plus just actually trick or treating on Halloween. So my kids collected so much candy this year. They lived their best lives for Halloween. They had so much fun but it was time for me to pack it up and I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with all of it. I've heard of some people doing the Switch Witch, which I personally am not a fan of for our family, but I may donate some of the candy or something. We'll see. I had so much fun doing like DIY Halloween decor this year, so I'm hoping to do a couple of DIY Christmas decor videos or reels or something. So I will let you guys know if I end up doing that. Up the hill, serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept You'll notice here that my decor was not up yet as I was doing the floors. And that's just because I filmed this video a little bit out of order and edited it, edited it a little bit out of order as well. And that's just because I wanted to keep it interesting for you guys. So I wanted to keep the majority of like the Christmas decorating towards the beginning of the video in case that's what you came here for. And then the rest of the video is going to be just mostly cleaning motivation. So anyway, I am cleaning my floors now. They needed this so badly. And you can see over on the left, I still was out of trash bags. I ended up ordering them that day. We were on a subscription through Amazon for them. And I thought for some reason that they were coming a lot sooner so I didn't like immediately place an order when we ran out but turns out they did not show up at my door and so anyway I had to order some just because it was driving me crazy having the trash bags that did not fit inside of our trash can in the kitchen anyway long story short we now do have trash bags again so that's good <laughs> You guys know I always have laundry baskets full of random stuff that just gets stuffed together in the basket and forgotten about laying around my house. And so this week we're tackling these laundry baskets, which were just a bunch of clothes that had been kind of shuffled together. Typically I do everybody's laundry separate, but for whatever reason, our clothes had gotten mixed up. So I was throwing them all into piles to bring them into their correct rooms and then just continuing to go through these laundry baskets and put back any of the random stuff that was in there back wherever it belongs. This is the type of thing that I just always procrastinate on and I really don't know why because it doesn't end up taking me a very long time to get it done, but sometimes it just seems so daunting and I cannot bring myself to do it, but I finally got those all taken care of and now I'm just cleaning the floors in the hallway as well. There was a load of fresh towels in those laundry baskets that needed to be folded and put away. I've actually been looking for these and couldn't find them anywhere. It turns out they were at the bottom of that pile in the hallway. So finally, I'm restocking all of my kitchen towels and cleaning cloths. The next room we're going to work on is Sutton's room. His room was looking like a huge mess. We've had sick kids constantly, it feels like, for the last like over a month now. And then I've had little illnesses here and there. Mine have been pretty quick, like pretty short-lived. I've had like a two-day cold here and a two-day cold there, but for the most part, I've been good. But I feel like my kids have been constantly sick and Sutton had an ear infection actually on the day that I was filming. And that night, he kept me up the entire night, I actually had to go to a 24-hour CVS at 2 in the morning to get more Motrin 
mom fail ran out of the motrin but it was crazy it was a wild night i was so exhausted and thankfully everybody is starting to feel better now so peacefully well, i haven't slept for several weeks no not ever never ever will you come home Now we're going to take care of Sutton's laundry. So I'm just sorting everything into piles for the most part. I've told you guys in a couple of videos recently, but I've kind of stopped folding my kids' clothes. I just put them in piles and I put them away in their correct drawers and I don't worry about sorting them out all perfectly. Maybe someday I'll enjoy folding again, but I just don't right now and it's at like the bottom of my priority list. So I put their clothes, like their shorts into one drawer, pants into one drawer, and then in this, in this case in Sutton's room, I hang all of his shirts up. So anyway, that's what I'm doing here. I like this method. It's been so nice. I feel like I save a ton of time and a ton of unnecessary stress and back pain by doing it this way. So my kids don't care either. It's honestly been great. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream spring comes it's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time that you want to fry I need to do another declutter of Sutton's clothes in particular because now that we've entered a new season he's not wearing shorts and short sleeve shirts anymore so I need to get all of those out since they definitely won't be fitting him next year so when we do go to put all of this away you will see that I'm going to take out some of his clothes that's currently in his drawer and I'm just going to shove it into the bottom drawer altogether because I didn't have enough time on this day in order to go through it all and fold it nicely in order to put it into a bin for storage. So I just shoved it all in that bottom drawer for a different day and I'm fine with that. So now we're gonna go ahead and put everything away. So again, like I was saying before, I'm grabbing anything that's no longer in season and I'm kind of throwing that aside so I can shove that all into a drawer for another day. But when I put away his pajamas, I do try to keep sets together in the drawer just so it's easier for me when I go to get him into his pajamas at the end of the night. But then for like pants and stuff, I just throw them in there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the rest of Sutton's room, get everything up off the floor and put away. I feel like his room could just have a couple of things on the floor and it instantly looks like a huge mess because his room is so tiny. 
anyway just tidying up the room and then i'll get to vacuuming and then that's going to be the end of this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you some motivation or maybe some ideas for some christmas decorating i still have more christmas decorating to do but this was a good start and i feel like my house already feels so much cozier and i'm just loving it but again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you again next week for another video.